Greg. How's it going? Good, man. How are you? I'm uh, better than good, and uh, I'm gooder than uh, gooder than uh, that. <laughs> How are you doing? It looks like you just got off another session. You need a moment? No. It, well, I've just run upstairs because, uh, well, if you saw what was actually behind here, it's just a big mess. But I'm at, at the office at work. But I'm uh, hanging out, as you can see, in front of the Autobot Arc. You know? It looks great. Yeah, it's uh, you know what? It's funny thing about this thing is it's been here for millions of years and no one ever <laughs> found it. But I have a theory. I have a theory. They had armies of geese over that way uh -huh. that that just you know scared everybody away. Not even the government satellites would go near it. Uh, that's so it. that's how the Autobots sort of stayed hidden for millions of years. Geese. That's how we did it. That's it. <laughs> I'm just riffing. Just one of those mornings. Me no bozo, me king. Oh, dude, don't get that started. Hey, look, here he is here. Wait, he's kind of invisible. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely one. That's a yeah. beauty. Yeah, that's my, yeah, well, that my son stole that off me, but I've got People others. People still bring me the original originals to sign, and usually uh, everybody's first one, they, they went one move too far, and the neck <laughs> kind of is <laughs> dangling. <laughs> That's awesome. But you and know what? There is a new robot from Robosen uh, that is, it basically tells you what to do from the moment you open the box. And I've got 1,500 voice cues in the robot, and it's um, it's just impossibly intricate and fantastic. It's, it, it, you know, it's just, it goes on and on and on and on and on. And uh, hopefully I've been very good to Grimlock because Grimlock has been very good to me. Have you got one? Well, maybe I do and maybe I do. <laughs> I don't have Is it hi it's hiding behind there. But, Not uh... in arm's reach. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, man? I, I'm going to say we're, we're, we're pals on Facebook, but I just drop in and comment randomly oh, from cool. time to time to time uh neville pierce my name pops up yeah as. i recognize so, that mm, yeah so uh this is this is an awesome day for me i'm a big fan of your work of course greg uh i appreciate you joining us on the show thank you neville that's all right man absolutely because you're coming down to supernova coming back to australia we're very excited i know tons of people that are keen to meet you uh it's a long trip but how are you feeling about you know coming all the way down here the being there is better than the getting there, but the getting there will be <laughs> just fine. <laughs> so what are you going to do? What are I'm you going to do? I'm going to put on my jet pack and just uh, head west. <laughs> Not just <laughs> put the old, put the old arms. But, um, you know, it, it's Supernova is such a big deal for us down here. It's kind of like Christmas. So, uh, you know, you've you've done cons in Australia before. I have what, done. What? what is the what's the best thing about cons in Australia compared to everywhere else in the world? Uh, I would say fandom, uh, and I would say uh, the level of uh, uh, enthusiasm. And I mean, for me, mm. and there's a personal experience. If I if I wasn't a special guest, I I, I would stand a good chance of being an attendee. I love uh, the the travel opportunity aspect of all of this. I love the notion of flying. I don't like the notion of flying thousands of miles. Nobody does. But but uh, arriving at a destination thousands of miles from my origin and uh, having so many people uh, showing up to say thank you and to say hello when I'm coming from where I'm coming mm -hmm. from to say thank you and to say hello. And I, I mean that I'm not I'm not kidding i don't think it you know i'm doing anybody a favor by being there i i coming to say thank you and i'm coming to say hello and uh there's a beautifully sincere authentic and genuine and i'm not making up words i i absolutely feel it uh level of sincerity about about the audience that i've met there uh, previously and look forward to meeting there uh soon soon in April, uh, and it is my great pleasure, and it uh, hasn't even transpired yet. Mate, we are so keen. We are so keen. I, I'm I'm in a lot of Transformers groups and 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 stuff like that. And when you got announced, 
you could hear everybody like screaming suburbs and st- like i got i got people that are traveling to see you mate like it's 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 going to be a very very cool thing to all right to see let's, you. Uh, everybody's going to leave happy <laughs> that's right leave. Oh, mate, it's going to be incredible. But, of, of course, you are one of the greatest voice artists of all time. With uh, You know, you've got such a massive range. And... Oh, go on. So I will go on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, okay, this I'm just going to throw some out here. Uh, Odie from Garfield. The Grumble from... Uh, uh... <laughs> love it, love it. Uh, the Grumble from uh, Our Real Monsters. From <laughs> Oblinus. <laughs> uh and of of course uh junkyard from toxic crusaders which doesn't come up wow, enough you really know your stuff don't you i'm a big nerd i'm a big geek and uh you know how could you tell that show <laughs> should have stuck around yes yes it should have it definitely should have because i'm a big toxic fan as well um but you know the big one of course we mentioned before uh which was a special one for me is grimlock uh that that character is just such an important character for so many people. But I want to know, how did the the voice come about for you? You've probably been asked that a bunch of times, but the origins of Grimlock. Well, I have been asked, but I mean, it, it's, first and foremost, it's to Wally Burr's credit, the original director of the original Transformers. And honestly, those of us in G1, Generation 1, have an elevated status and this year in particular this is the 40th anniversary and how that can be when i'm not even 40 in my head and i still haven't decided what i want to be when i grow up Uh, but he would put scripts out on the tables and say you pick three that you think you're right for and uh i just remember the grimlock description said Big muscle, small brain, hinged jaw. And the more I read j- just the sort of recipe, and I hinged my jaw at the outset, and I, I was doing things physically to myself. Well, I got a phone call from him that said, I got good news and bad news. I said, by all means, tell me both. And he said, uh, Hasbro loves you for this character. We don't know what you're doing or where it's coming from or why uh, we found your tonsils on the uh, on the studio <laughs> glass. But he said, he said there's concern whether anyone can maintain and sustain that level of, of damage uh, to your... I said, it's not damaging mm. for some reason. Uh, he said, I said, what's the bad news? He said, whether you can maintain and sustain that. I said, oh, please put me in, coach. I said, I know what to do. I know how to do this. Yeah. I, I said, put me in. I'll hit it out of the park every time. And I was the new kid. I, I really was. And I couldn't believe I was in the room with the people I was in the room with, uh, including Peter Cullen and Frank Welker. And uh, it just, uh, and, uh, and uh, Chris, it just, it was it was monstrous good for me, and um, there I was, and I believe I'm a more versatile, stronger, mm. better actor because I figured out how to make that work in my favor. But uh, all of the, I believe it's a, I believe it's a, 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 I believe all of those original episodes, including Skyfire, who is near and dear to my heart. Um, they really focused on the breakdown of the characters. Yes, I think character uh, inspired story. I think I think you could clearly delineate by character one robot, one transformer from another, one Autobot, one Decepticon from the other, and because there were those battles, uh, kind of morality tale, but clearly uh, who's doing what to whom and when and how. Um, it was clear in the breakdown, and we we mm-hmm. were able to do that. I think because of that, um, I think if you care about the characters, you care about what happens to them. If you care about what happens to them, then you're along for the whole ride. Yes. And I think because of that, and I've heard this from next generation at convention table, at my table at conventions, kids that came in in later incarnations of transformers 
that's a whole other story. It's the most forgiving fandom mm. in the history of anything because they'll go along for the ride. But even if they came in later, they once they were introduced to G1, they wanted to take that whole ride. Even if the even if it, they'd seen CGI and magnificent eye candy and other there's something about those episodes and that animation. It just it gets you for yes. reasons that you can't even they can't even explain. But they wanted to go on that whole ride and they still do. And it it we're we're the beneficiaries, you know. But uh, it's it 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 just it's some kind of mm, unexplainable, I guess you know. But uh, but when you hear it from like an, an eight year old who's mm. passionate about it, and and uh, lucky me about Grimlock in particular, uh, or Skyfire or Long Haul. And and I say, uh, you know, I didn't I didn't join this outfit to be no dump truck. I'll tell you that. <laughs> remove, remove, remove. Holy right. cow! Uh, it just they and, and they light up, and it's it's it, it makes me feel great, man. It just makes me feel great. Like this, <laughs> I'm getting yeah, all something like I'm, this, man. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to stay professional and not get all emotional, but it's hard not to when you're faced with your childhood and something that's so special to them like grimlock man if i could tell you know eight-year-old nev that i'd be talking to you today he would just be like how my son was this morning when i told my son there we share go. that and he was like what and i was like yeah boy so and and you're right i think you've been reading my questions here but those characters and i'm not I'm not attacking the the Bayverse and the latest stuff, but I feel that that's something that was missed was the the characters and the and 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 the depth of those characters, and that's something that G1 has and still has to this day. Like you, you, as you said, you can watch those episodes and you know those characters, you feel for those characters, especially the movie. That movie will still make a forty year old man cry, uh -huh. <laughs> you know. It, like I'm not alone there, and it, it's and it, it's it touches so many people, and not only that, you as a voice actor has uh, like Grimlock in particular. Like I'm a I'm a death metal singer. I warm up my voice uh, with a bit of Grimlock because it, it's there you go the mechanics of it. I, I you can correct me here, but it's sort of it's not low. It sort of sits here and he, obviously here where the and that's where you've got a both it, correct. Yep. And you sort of, you know, you build, I build myself up through it and then I lower it down and that gets me nice and warmed up. And I, that's you. You're now the longevity. The longevity comes from uh, learning how to make the vocal cords expand rather yes. than uh, rather than contract. Mm -hmm. Anything that contracts the cords and people don't understand this about most people who sing metal. Mm -hmm. There's a way. There's a way to force the cords open instead of closed. Anything that constricts is is lit is shortening your career. Yes. Anything that that allows them to expand is is not going to shorten your career. Um, by the way, I wanted to tell you, for an eight year old, you got a very impressive beard. Oh, thank you. Thanks, <laughs> mate. I um. That's how they. That's how they make us down here in Australia. Um. <laughs> but um. Yeah, no, and and on on that subject, uh, Travis Ryan from a band called Cattle Decapitation. Now you mm. worked with him. I don't know if you worked with him in the same room, but he uh, did uh, Hasbro Pulse uh, short, I guess, with you. Yeah. And I remember him teasing that. Were you in yeah. the same room with him doing yeah, that? Yeah, we worked a day together. Yes. How yes. was that? Uh, great. Yeah. No. Uh, not good. Good people. Uh, very nice. Um, I, I'm never, I'm never the dissenting vote, or the, I'm never the guy that doesn't get. I, you put me in session to begin with. If I get up and have to be in session at ten o'clock, it's going to be a good day. Um, so whatever happens in that day is an opportunity to meet whoever else is going to be in session. Uh, so I just, I just make it an opportunity to find out who, who, who 
what else is going on and if somebody else uh if somebody else is in the same gig that already uh, is a stamp of approval and so i just uh, want to add somebody else to my uh to my list of uh of of who i hung out with uh now if if that the uh, if scatman Carruthers was on that list that was a real good day oh man and if he brought his ukulele nobody ever wanted to go back to work boy that that was a face that saw it all and just chose the smile no matter what else it had seen you know i don't i don't know you know his his life story but boy what a beautiful guy man that would have been yeah he's missed man yeah, and, and when i say we have elevated status and and this is an anniversary year and stuff mm. you know there's a lot of people that are no longer uh able to come to the party they have excused absences yes but good for everybody who's still here uh i just i i've, I've recently seen most of those of us who are still uh at the party but uh, you just made me think of them that's all oh man that's what what a legend and yeah. of course, Chris Ladder, like, man, rest in peace. But we've, rest I mean, we we've still got I, you. I still bump into his daughter. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. That would have been. Oh. It's a nice family. See, I would have loved to have met him. He, he would have. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Man, what a legend! What a legend! But hey, you've got. I, I've met. I've been lucky enough. I met Peter. Peter Cullen. Mm -hmm. Um, he, he hugs you like he's known you all his life. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that. And he puts a he's, Good description, man. What a, what a beautiful human being. I haven't met Frank yet. So, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bug you at, at, at the Gold Coast. That's for sure. But, and hopefully I can add you to, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but, uh, I've got Colin there, tattooed oh, there, a little yeah, scribble. Yeah. Maybe yeah, you can yeah. add one as well. There we go. You can be there forever. I made Peter laugh at panel. Uh, I said the difference between Grimlock and Optimus as leader is uh, Grimlock says, ready, fight. <laughs> Not exactly the measured leader uh, that Optimus was. Is No, but he's there's there's something special about Grimlock. That, yeah, that's know. why it's, you know, he's he's like a big dog. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's, Not unlike. Gets his snoot and everything, you know. You've actually you played a few dogs, as mentioned before, but he's uh, a T Rex. But you know, I've played a few pigs and I've played a few <laughs> dogs. <laughs> is there is there something that you haven't played yet that you want to sink your teeth into? No, but I'm so busy being grateful. I I don't have any time left to think about what I haven't, what I what I'm not doing. You know, I uh, um I'm just that guy i i really am just in a in a perpetual state of gratitude um no i i don't know what it would be i the next script i get is the is the one i'm going to be excited about the next microphone i'm behind is the one i'm going to be excited about the the amount of history i have behind me i was reading my imdb today till my eyes got tired <laughs> You know? it's, it's it's massive it's a dude. long it's a long <laughs> read man, it's it's a few of these it's yeah. a few scrolls man yeah is it something uh, that and, and i won't say i'm not uh i like the notion and i'm doing it very selectively but periodically i get uh asked to help a next generation talent like deserving talent um with uh some short cutting somebody usually uh high profile younger performer who's being given some animated opportunities mm. and is trying to bridge the gap between their on camera career and animated career and it's easier than they think it is because they've already found the truth between themselves and a camera and what when we did the animated feature in 86 um um oh shoot what's his name <laughs> Uh, um, uh, Rodimus, uh, he was having, he was having trouble, uh, relating to the microphone. Uh, and he said, I, 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 I need a pair of eyes to talk to. I'm, I, I, I work on camera. I, I, I said, well, all of us said, um, including me, 
just talk to one of us. There's somebody would get on the other side of the microphone and just just look at somebody. You don't have to stare at a stupid microphone. And he, he just he thought that was the most amazing thing ever. And every time he had uh, anything that he had to say, and we worked with an octopus microphone, Wally Burr wanted everybody in the scene to be present for every yeah. scene that anybody else was in. So he just, once he had somebody to talk to, it's like he was home free. There are things that just make you be home free, mm. you know? And if it's not your medium, you can you can do something that'll that'll manipulate it so that it can become more like whatever your medium is. Uh, sometimes it's easier than people make it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Any, anything in life, you, you can just sort of massage it so that it's it's less difficult than you thought it was. Um, at any rate, um, that that solved the problem. So I, I've had some some coaching opportunities. It just feels good. Just that whole notion of pay it forward. Yeah. Every, every one of us given the opportunity should should embrace the, the notion of paying it forward when we can if if there's some field in which we can pay it forward it's a good thing to do and well judd nelson end of rodimus yeah judd nelson. <laughs> yeah but you know i'm a big hot rod rodimus fan like two of my yeah. hey man i tell you what there was grimlock and hot rod were my first my first toys i got and that's uh, a that's a that's a good uh, daily double. Yeah, man. There was <laughs> there was a three. There was the three that I still have. It's Grimlock, Hot Rod, and uh, Egon from the real Ghostbusters. May how frame your trifecta. Is. And that and uh -huh. it sticks with you. You know what I mean? It's You're racing for. Him. Oh man, I love it. I love it so much yeah. still. Um, but you know, of course, meeting your own heroes. You've done a lot of these cons. Has there been someone that you've come across? That has had an impact on you, both live action and and vocally. Well, uh, I mean, every time that I was, when we were doing Spider Man the animated series, I was Craven the Hunter, and I was also uh, Quentin Beck, Mysterio, or the Bubblehead. I got to, uh, yes, the master of special effects and treachery. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, but Stan Lee used to sit in on our sessions when he was nearby. And uh, to our credit, thankfully, he said at that time, and this was this was way back, and we know how many Spider-Mans there have been since. Yes. But in, in that time, at that time, he said that, for him was his book, uh, his his drawn image realized in animated form. He he loved that run, uh, casting wise also, and so that that was a real feather just to hear it from him. But I would bump into him at conventions, and I would just I, I said this in an earlier interview, but just bask in the glow. So that's not a performer per se, but. Mm. And then in in uh, um, Men in Black, David Warner was an arch bad guy through uh, our fourth season and just being in his presence. But on stage, I worked uh, under uh, John Cassavetes in one of his plays that he had written. And that was a whole thing. And, you know, we're all kind of on the shoulders of people that we have worked with, bump shoulders with, and you carry stuff that you just sort of pick up along the way from being in the presence of. So, um, geez, there's, there's lots of answers to that question. Some are names you know, some are names mm. you don't. In Garfield, Stan Freeberg was an irregular regular, but yeah. he's a giant of radio comedy and advertising uh creativity june foray was an irregular regular on the garfield show and just sitting over coffee you never don't learn something if your friggin ears are open mm. you know these are these are the things that are only happen if you're like got your head screwed on straight and you're and you want to learn um, I sat next to intentionally 
because um, the Gordon Hunt, the voice director at Hanna Barbera, made sure that I did. He took me in the <laughs> he took me in the director's booth, and he said, "I'm seating you next to Mel Blank." I was the new kid. He <laughs> this, was, this was early, early on. And he introduced me to the room. He said, I think this is one of the new kids. I think you're going to be seeing a lot of him. And um, he seated me directly next to Mel Blank. But he told me he was seating. He said, I'm putting you next to Mel Blank because I want you to know you belong here. And I think you got a big future. Uh, so I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, I'll start crying while I'm telling the story. Um, so those things mean something to me, yeah, you know, man. maybe they don't to everybody and, and God forbid you're one of the people who thinks it's all about you. It's not all about you. It's about everybody that you bump into if you're paying attention and it's about every artist you bump into and it's about every writer you bump mm -hmm. into. These are opportunities to be part of it. Uh, I'm, I'm down with the collaboration. I've been I've been on the road with Flint Dilly from Transformers story editor. He told me when the animated feature came out, he could not open his office door because there was so much hate mail uh, for uh, a particular something that happened. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so all this stuff, you know, everybody's got stories and they're all juicy and really good. That's the point of the whole thing um and it makes you part of a continuity uh mm. here's the thing i mean i'm being philosopher greg but i'm not worried about a generation that's passionate about anything the only word that scares the heck out of me is is one word whatever yes you know that's the danger word mm. whatever nothing means anything it's all stupid you know no, it's, it's not. No, you are. Yeah, <laughs> there's so much passion. You got, man. That's I. I feel you. Like when Just I meet care people, about something. Yeah, man, get passionate about stuff. That's what living's about. You know, like sharing and and absorbing. And you're right, man. Absolutely. It it it, it care. It matters less what it is than mm. the fact that you're passionate about something. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. But, uh, mate, I tell Listen you what, us. We, we can fix the whole world. I think so. Hey, do you, do you want to run for president? You'll be better than the other guy. Let's try uh, no, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure I'm signing on for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we need to get rid of that. I mean, I'm in, in Australia and I'm sick of seeing that, that orange yeah, dude. I know. You know, Grimlock for president. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> there Tail you go. swipe and we're, and we're all good. Yeah. Hey, there you go. But, uh, I, I, I I don't know if we've gone over here. I don't know how much time we've had, but I've been enjoying our chat, especially as I said. Make America real again. Yes. <laughs> That's right. We need that on a shirt. You could make you could make a <laughs> bit of coin doing that. But um, uh, mate, thank you so much again for hanging out on the show. We're gonna have all the links down here and on the website. Greg, we'll see you on the Gold Coast. And if I if I do, if you got some time, I'll shout you some tacos. Okay. <laughs> Shake so that. much, yeah, yeah man. I I do that. Yeah, I'll send you a message. My mate's got a restaurant and surface. Well, he's got several, and he makes the best tacos. So if you're in for it, uh, hit me up. It's a lifetime search for the best tacos. I'll I'll, I'll hold me to it. Hold me to it. But hey, mate, take care, and I'll I'll see you on the Gold Coast. Every good wish, and I'll be seeing you before too long. And I'll yeah. be seeing everybody else at Supernova. Looking so forward to it. Woo! Let's go. Thank you so much, Greg. You're a legend. Thank you. Cheers.